Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Hey, buddy. Beat it. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. Uh, hey, um, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Get out of my face! Get out of here before you make me mad. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. Lucky bastard. No chance, chance to survive. Oh, why not? But what? I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! Come on! Easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's head. Yeah! I ain't skinny little faggots like you for breakfast! You eat faggots for breakfast? Step back! Did you hear me? Get out of here! Both of you should open the holes! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here, but I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess you can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Foot 
footwork yeah. is good. Remember your footwork. Whoa, would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid. Nice. nice. One. Give me two more of those. Ah, All right, one shit. more. Vito. That had to hurt. Ah. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Yeah, that's it. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Come on, hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Yeah, that's it. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Keep it up. Nice work in the ring, buddy. Come on, more give me that, another to be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now. Hey, how you he doing? He was a prize yeah, fighter back in the day. Sam, Damn how you doing? Too. No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> His master will not be happy. Ah, yeah, this no happen if you use tiger style.
Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hottest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> down on a job like always. Your little cracker going down. Man, who taught his brother how to fight? Now, now, grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next week. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. <laughs>